Create amazing end credits in Adobe Premiere Pro with today's video. Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rocker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create beautiful looking scrolling credits in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now these are the type of credits that you would see at the end of a short film or a long Hollywood feature film. The really cool thing about this effect is you don't need any other programs and you don't need any other plugins. You can do this straight inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So once we're inside of Premiere Pro, we're just going to go and create a brand new legacy title. Now in the title, we can just rename this to End Credits and we'll just press OK on that. And now I'm just going to extend this window just because it's very small and it might be difficult to see if you're watching this. So just to expand that out so it fills the screen. And now we just want to create a brand new rolling title. So we're going to go into here, select Roll, and we want to make sure that this starts off screen and ends off screen. And then we'll press OK. And now in here, we can just create a brand new text layer. So we'll just call this Credits and we'll just change the font of this, change the style. And then we can just use the center buttons to center this back up towards the center. Now I'm just going to drag that back up to the very top and just center the horizon. And then I'm going to go back into the text tool and I'm just going to create a brand new title. Now this is going to be for the cast, so I'm just going to center this back up again and decrease the size of this. So I'm just going to go through and create a brand new title again, and this is going to be for the title description. So this is going to be our characters in the cast. So I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to rename these. So we've got character one, we'll have character two, character three. We're just going to create a whole list of characters. And then as soon as you're finished with that, we're just going to go up to the aligning tool and we're going to align this to the right. We're going to turn off the bold and then we're just going to place that roughly in the center and pull the size of this down. Awesome. Okay, super happy with that. So I'm just going to add a few more characters. You can see this, just adding in some random characters here. And then I'm just going to copy this text layer by holding Command C and Command V, dragging that across and changing the text alignment to the left. So this means that the text is going to sit on the left. And now I can go through and I can just change the name of all of these characters. So just adding in some random names. These are just random names, obviously, because this is just a quick example. So once we've done that, we can go onto the crew. So we're just going to select the cast, the characters and the names, select them all, hold command C, that's going to copy them, command V, that's going to paste them. And then we can just drag those down beneath the cast. Now we want to rename this to crew. Make sure again, make sure that's centered up. And then we're just going to go through and we're just going to change all of these character names to job descriptions. So you're going to have like directors, camera operators, assistant directors, cinematographers. The list goes on. There's loads of different credits you can include here, but just use what you want to use. And then we can go through and we can change all the names, but there's no point because this is just an example. So we'll just leave them as they are. Now I'm just going to go back up and I'm just going to pull the credits up just a touch just to give that more separation. And now once again, I'm just going to go through and copy the crew and the names. So we're going to select those, hold command C, command V. We'll just drag those down. We'll center crew back up to the middle and we'll just rename this to special thanks. So we're going to give our special thanks to here. And then in this list of names, we can just center this back up because we're not going to do two things here. This is just going to be a list of names. So we'll just center that up perfectly in the middle. And now I'm just going to go up. I'm just going to give all of these just a little bit more style. So I'm going to make sure that the characters are bold and the names are not bold. Make sure they're just the normal size. So that just gives them a little bit more of a difference, makes them really stand out. Now I'm just going to copy this special thanks to again, command C, command V, drag that underneath all of those names, center that up. And then I'm just going to rename this to sponsors. So this is where you include your sponsors. So here you can add text, you can add logos, you can add whatever you like here. But for now, I'm just going to keep this nice and simple and I'm just going to add some text and I'm just going to add basic company names here. So we've just got company name. We can just add a few of those in just to make it look like there are a few sponsors. And then from here, again, I'm just going to copy and paste that. Again, that's command C, command V. I'm going to pull this back up to the center and then I'm just going to rename sponsors to music. And now you'll typically notice when you're watching a film, if you've seen the credits, it kind of tickers from left to right, left to right, left to right. And that's staggered throughout the entire of the credits. So 
we'll have the song name, we'll have the artist, we'll have the record label, all your other details. And then we're going to pull that over to the left. Now, once you've done that, we can copy that, paste that and drag that over to the right and pull that down just a little bit. And now we'll just keep repeating this over and over again until we've added all of the songs that we need to feature. I don't quite know why movies do this, but this is what most movies do. So if you replicate this, then you're going to look nice and professional. So try and stagger your names across. And now once I'm happy with that, I'm going to come out of that window and I'm going to drag those end credits onto the sequence. But as you can see, that's only four seconds long and it's way too quick. So I'm just going to extend that out. Again, that's a little bit too far. So we'll just extend this to 30 seconds. And there you go, your credits are rolling. So from here, we're going to maximize the frame. So go into window, maximize frame. And if you watch these through, that's a really nice pace for the title credits. As you can see, we've got the cast, we've got the crew, we've got the special thanks, we've got the music. And this all looks really nice and really awesome. But to progress from here, we want to create a new title. So we're just going to go into title, rename this to a logo. And we're just going to design a very basic logo. And that would do for our company logo. So at the end of those rolling credits, we're just going to add this logo in. So we'll just drag that on. And then we're just going to fade this in to go up to opacity. Pull that down to 0% at the beginning, creating a keyframe. Scroll across, adjust this to 100%. Scroll across, create another keyframe for 100%. And then we'll go to the end of that and create a keyframe for 0%. Now this is going to fade in and fade out again. And then from here, we can go and create a brand new title. And then this is just going to be a disclaimer or something random at the end of the film, just to kind of conclude the whole of the credits. So we just type whatever you like. We'll center that up. And again, like the logo, we're just going to fade this in. So we're just going to go to opacity, pull that to 0%, creating a keyframe, pull it up to 100%, scroll across, new keyframe 100%. And again, ending with 0%. And then to bring this life, we're just going to go through and we're going to adjust the scale. So we're going to make sure that we create a keyframe at the end of the logo and then go back to the very beginning. And we're just going to pull the scale down to around 70%. And that's just going to add a really nice slow push in. That looks really nice. And then we'll just do the same thing again on the ending title. And there you go. That's how you complete a cinematic movie title sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro. I know this tutorial was quite quick, so if you need me to answer any of your questions, then please let me know in the comment section below and I promise I will answer them as soon as possible. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and push that bell icon to stay updated on all future uploads. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. watching.